Hello everybody, this is Daniel Morrison, software engineer from Matrix TSL and with me today I've got Ben Rowland who's one of our embedded engineers. Hi Daniel. Hi, and um, today we're going to be programming the chip kit UC32 from Digilent using flow code 8. Yeah, these, these are quite popular uh, little boards. Um, they're in the Arduino format, so they work with a lot of the Arduino shields and, and hats. Um, and we're just going to show you how, how simple it is to get up and running with one of these using flow code. And we're going to be uh, specifically exploring uh, how to use PWM with it as well. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're just going to some of the more um, maybe advanced components and, and just show you how, how, how straightforward they are to use, really. Brilliant. So we're going to be using the, the UC32 board today. Um, so what I've got selected here is I've chosen a PIC32 device. I've chosen the family as the MISC family, and that's sort of all the, all the um, weird and wonderful um, extras. Um, and you can see that there's various forms of the chip kit, chip kit uh, boards here. Uh, we've got two uh, different versions of the UC32. One is if you want to program it using the PIC kit 3, uh, and the other is if you want to program it using the onboard uh, built-in bootloader. So I'm going to use the, the bootloader option and click OK. Now you you might be able to see on the video we've got um, we've got a, an LED and a resistor, uh, and that's just connected between pins um, D D zero and D ten. D zero is the anode, D ten is the cathode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a output icon. I'm going to set it to um, a single pin mode uh, to D ten. I'm going to output a zero, and that just basically provides the ground for the for the LED to sync the current. So we could use this as a as a global um, enable if we wanted to be able to to kill the LED or or, or bring it on and not affect the PWM output. Under outputs, uh, I've got um, various things, but here we can see there's a PWM component. If I drag that onto the panel and zoom in a bit, then you can see. It, it, it shows us various things, um, as in what the overall duty um, it, it's capable of, the, the frequency it might output at, um, the period and, and mark and space ratios in microseconds. Uh, and we've got various properties down the side. Now, as I said, my LED is connected between uh, pin D0 and D10. So um, you can see if we vary the channel, then it actually changes which pin. Uh, based on the chip that you're using, some chips might offer you a way to move the pin, but th this chip doesn't offer that. So it's fixed on, on pin Z D0, so hence it's greyed out. Um, the period, I'm just going to use a byte to set my, uh, my on-off duty ra ratio. So I'm going to set the period to 255, and that limits us to be within the range of a byte. So I'm going to create a, a simple loop. I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call the variable uh, duty, uh, set that to be a byte. I'm going to um, enable the PWM so it's, it's, it's ready to go and I'm going to call a set duty cycle um, and in, in the duty parameter I'm going to use the variable duty that we just created. I'm then going to uh, increment the variable so duty equals duty plus one. Now basically every time around the loop uh, we add one to, to duty until we get to two for five and then it obviously wraps back to zero. And then I'm going to add a small delay just so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to say, use say 10, 10 milliseconds as it's quite a nice de delay. I save the project, uh, it just asks me to provide a file name and then obviously I can simulate and then we can see um, on the on the PWM uh, component, we can see that the, the duty is increasing as, as we increment our, our duty variable. And we can see the various timings of the mark and the space. Uh, if I stop the simulation... Um, and we need to set the programmer port, do we, as well? That's right. So <laughs> right okay. Under build and project options, um, you have a, a port listed here. Um, I know that 17 is the port for the um, the chip kit board, so I'll, I'll select that one. I think all the other ones are, are Bluetooth related at the moment. Um, click OK, and then all we have to do is uh, compile to chip, um, and 
it compiles and then it, it launches the the programmer and then hopefully you can see on the uh, on, on the video that the duty uh, to the LED is 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 increasing and we've got like a stepped effect in the in the brightness of the LED. So it it kind of increases in a gradient and then jumps back down to zero. That's right. Yeah, I, so. yeah. I mean you could use you could use this for all sorts of things, uh, controlling a motor, um, making a torch with a variable output. You know the the the, the uses of this are very are very wide yeah. and varied. Brilliant. So I mean PWM is quite a common technique for it is it's, it's a way of get generating analog from a, a digital output right great so i think that about sums up how to yeah and the chip kit so, yeah. many thanks for watching yeah thanks for listening guys